So I was away from my phone for like for like two or three the, the last two or three days. I come back and I come back and just see this. This is the first thing that I see on the internet that Kentaro Miura has unfortunately passed away at the age of 54. So the first the first thing that the first reaction to it was that it's probably just one of those celebrity pranks a lot of people just like to create these uh, just like to create these rumors that about about these celebrity these celebrities just passing away and me and my brother just thought that this was just one one of those things you know and for the first 5 or 6 hours me and my brother just looked around various outlets for for any kind of confirmation and as it turns out it is it is in fact true yeah yeah it is in fact true that he has passed away at just 54 years or at just 54 years old and i started reading berserk i think 3 years you know 3 and a half years ago and aside from hunter hunter berserk was the other story the only other story that really helped my transition into anime that really helped me recognize anime as a respectable source of great impactful storytelling and be that as it may i decided to just the first time i read the series i knew that i was going to stick to it i just knew that i was going to stick to it for a very long time and from what i've read it, this this incident actually happened 2 weeks ago but the publishing the publishing house the publishers did not want to make it public because they wanted to give the family some time to mourn and that's that's really considerate of them that's really considerate of them yeah i cannot even imagine what what his family must what his family must be going through right now we we have all lost someone who is close to us in our lives but yeah it's still it's still not the kind of pain that you ever get used to you know and and i after i heard the news i just i don't know i just went and i started listening to this interview that i found a pretty old interview but you could really hear man you know you could really hear that he was not in this thing for the money he was not in this thing for the fame he really cared about his audience he really cared about his his characters he was very very soft spoken very articulate and when i first got to know this news the confirmation that this was indeed true i was upset but after hearing that interview the after listening to that interview it just feels so much more personal i i really wish that i really wish the best for his family that's that's all i can say right now the the every time i really every time this every time this news makes its way into my head the the first thing the only thing that i can i can really think of is his family and i really really do hope that they find a way to cope with this and mura might have passed away but the story that he has left behind doesn't matter if it's incomplete it's still so just so legendary and so impactful and not just for the fact that it is a great great story but also for the fact that it has inspired i don't know how many people for the better it has just inspired everyone on some level or the other and he might not be there with us anymore but he will never be forgotten with with the existence of berserk his his spirit has been immortalized and i know that i'm not the only one who feels this way anyone and every single person who has ever read berserk feels the same way i'm sure of it i'm absolutely certain of it but i just want to say that i i am definitely really really sad and and i'm sure that his family is absolutely devastated but for everyone who's feeling this this loss just remember that the art that an artist creates is his or her expression it's his or her way of expressing themselves and berserk was the art of mura and guts was the protagonist of that piece of art and of all the themes of berserk the one theme that you can that everyone can relate with guts 
is his ability to just move forward through adversity, through loss. And I think that that is the message that Kentaro was trying to deliver to us through guts. That in life there will be loss, there will be adversity, but we are all capable of moving through it, moving forward. Adversity and loss, mourning and mourning over that loss is understandable, but never let, never ever let those losses turn into setbacks. Kentaro would never have wanted any of us to stop in our tracks just because he's gone. Any true fan of Berserk would want to carry on his legacy. And so despite the collective loss that we are all feeling, I'm sure we will move forward and we will create a better community in his memory. And I just, I just want to end this video with a, with a quote from Guts which says, he died doing what he wanted no matter what, right? I bet he was happy. And I'm sure Mura is in a better place now. And I really do hope, I'm really praying that his family finds a way to cope through this devastating loss. My best wishes to the family and to every fan who is feeling this loss right now. That's, that's all I have to say right now.